Now, joining us on the phone is Kwame Jantua, who is the chairman of the oil and gas sector with the Association of Ghana Industries. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Right. Now, ExxonMobil is laying off about 14,000 of its staff strength across the world, mainly from the U.S. And between 2019 and 2020, we are told the company lost about $22 billion, largely due to dropping crude oil prices and the impact of COVID. Clearly, business is bad for the company, no? Well, I reckon, uh, good evening to your, your, your listeners and your viewers. I reckon um, the COVID pandemic has had a catastrophic effect on the oil industry. And a big company like ExxonMobil have, have felt the brunt of it. Some investments ExxonMobil made um, didn't go well for them, which has gotten them to cut back. Um, Guyana was a typical example of their investment in Guyana. Um, at the time, they felt um, they had the kind of oil that was there was equivalent to Ghana's sweet crude, but turned out not to be so, and they had invested a lot of money in exploration. Mm. So it has hit the company deep. Now, whether Ghana should be part and parcel of uh, the retrenchment that they are doing is another question. I mean, they have tried to drill some wells here. They haven't been too successful in it. And p perhaps based on that, they have felt, okay, let's take our foot off the pedal and see how best um, we can handle this. But, you know, when a big company like ExxonMobil comes into your territory and they decide to leave, mm. it draws quite a lot of other... Uh, companies, especially American companies, out because ExxonMobil is a world-class company, which you know a lot of companies follow, depending on which country they're going into. But you should also remember that one of the things that has also blighted the oil industry, mm. apart from the COVID pandemic, is renewables. A lot of the oil companies are getting into renewables. Shell, for instance has got a huge uh, uh, budget for renewables, mm. BP, a huge budget for renewables. So it could be that ExxonMobil, too, is looking at that. I, I kind of figured that ExxonMobil initially weren't interested in offshore. Okay. They were more interested in onshore, because when you look at a lot of ExxonMobil uh, blocks in America, they are all onshore blocks. So they have a lot of expertise in onshore. And in terms of the kind of investment you require for onshore, it's not the same as you require for offshore. So, so, so clearly maybe there'll that be interest some impact. was there initially. Mm. But because mm. we hadn't started, you know, onshore production and we're still doing the necessary seismics to determine where hydrocarbons were on land, it right. probably, they didn't probably have the time to wait. Mm. But yes, it is quite a, a blow for a company like ExxonMobil to... Um, um, leave Ghana Exit. because they were looking at nearly 600,000 barrels of oil every year, which would have helped our economy very, very well. And so now that wouldn't happen. But also remember that although ExxonMobil is coming out, Aka Energy is also going to start its exploration. Right. So mm. maybe there's some hope there. Mm. And remember, Aka, Aka's block sign ultra deep water. So let's see how it let's pans out. It but goes. most oil companies, but even ACA, they've cut down on the number of FPSOs right. that we're going to bring in. Mm. So at the current moment, every oil company is looking at its pennies to see how best they don't have to, you know, expend too much money because of um, the COVID, the COVID uh, pandemic. And as you uh, see, uh, we've gone into COVID-1, COVID-2, mm. Some places are into COVID-3, some places are going into COVID-4. Right. So uh -oh. it's a huge impact. So mm. they'll sit back and see how this thing pans out in the next you know, few years. Uh, unfortunately, we'd have to let you go. Kwame Jantua, 